Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Nostalgia Unboxings. Today we are doing Digimon Digital Monsters CCG. It's a collectible card game. Uh, Hybrid Warriors is the, the name of the box, as we will see momentarily. After I actually open up its uh, shipping vessel here. There we go, let's open it up nice and easy. So, I believe this is from the original Digimon trading card game from way back in the day, because I think they rebooted it very recently, actually. And from what I found online, this is the second booster set out of, I believe, four that they released for the original card game. And I'm not sure exactly... I, I, I would believe that you cannot use these cards with the new rebooted game, but of course I could be wrong. Oh, it's about to, wow, the box is about half the size of the actual shipping container, which I wasn't expecting. Man, this thing is freaking tiny. It's in... Oh, it's in like really weird plastic. It's not like in like shrink wrap. It isn't straight up like kind of like the stiff, tough plastic wrap, which I wasn't expecting either. So here we have the box. We have, I have no idea what Digimon on the front here. It has been a while. I'm not fully up to date on all of the uh, hundreds of digital monsters that they exist at the moment. But here we have Digimon Digital Monsters, collectible card game from Bandai ages 8 and up. And maybe we can find out what year this is from. 2004, 1997 to 2004 Bandai right here. So uh, it is... It is quite old, and uh, it even feels a little dusty <laughs> as I'm holding it in my hands here. So let's get right to it. Also, I, with, as usual with most of my TCG videos, I will try to get pricing up for uh, certain pulls, but I have no idea if uh, that'll even be possible to find. And So basically, what I'm trying to say is uh, hope for the best and expect the worst. <laughs> Because <laughs> this has been out of print for a very long time, so I'm not sure if there's even a like decent secondary market for these cards. Um, if anyone is curious, I bought this box on eBay for about a hundred and forty dollars, or yeah, about hundred forty bucks. And I'll try to drop a link um, also in the description or in the comments to where you can get your own if you want to. Whether that be on Amazon, eBay, I don't really know yet. Wherever I find it for a decent price compared to what I paid for, I guess. That'll be what'll be in the links. And we'll be doing half the box, so this will be a two-part video because I don't want it to drag on super, super long. And uh, yeah, that is that is basically it for the intro. So here we go. How do I open this? It is certainly not... Ah, here we go. Pop it open like that, and we have our boosters. So from see oh so this is from i think some of these are from the fourth series of digimon right where the the kids actually turn into digimon isn't that what this guy's from i have no idea what the names are so we'll do well this guy's on the front so we'll do this pile first in this part and we'll save this for part two so we'll throw it right back in the box and move that out of the way we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 packs of mystery cards. I have no idea what mons are in this or anything like that, so I will be just as uh, surprised as many of you will be, hopefully. And actually, check us out at DigimonCCG.com. I'm curious now <laughs> if that link actually works. And Made in China. Ooh, here we go. Collect all 89 cards in the Hybrid Warriors Booster Series. I don't think we'll be doing that, but <laughs> we can sh surely hope. Oh, there's even a nice little tear line. That. Nice. All right, well, that was a very disappointing tear line indeed. Oh my god, these packs are really tough compared to... They feel thicker compared to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. And we have Waru Manzeman, Lilymon, ooh, from uh, the first series, Henry, Tommy, 
these guys are from these guys are from the third series of Digimon. I don't remember what the like the actual sub names were for this one. We have Energy Plug In, <laughs> which is a floppy disk, so you can definitely see how dated Digimon is in today's year. Ikakuman, Vidramon, one of my personal favorites. Birdramon, Doggymon. <laughs> Looks like a possessed version of Pluto. Ooh, and we have our foil, Nefertimon. Uh, the evolution of Gatomon. Very cool. Let's pack one. These things suck! <laughs> what the heck? Am I doing it wrong? Or are these really just that inefficient and bad? Alright. Ooh. Rosemon, Rika, Puppetmon, ooh, one of the Dark Masters from Season 1, JP, Ikakumon again, we have our first double, Vidramon again, oh, Energy Plug, what the heck, bro, uh, what, what, what the heck, and Kabuterimon, what the heck, this is like 80% of the same pack that we got just now, what the, like, how many cards are in this set, 86? Wow, and Kabuterimon foil. The foils are actually really pretty in this. I like, oh, we didn't check out the card back. Nice and simple kind of chip design that you'd expect from Digimon. Very cool. Interesting. Wow, this is, I mean, actually, when I'm now that I'm thinking about it, 86 cards is a very small card pool for a, um, a card game, typically. I think... The average Magic the Gathering set, for example, is like 150 cards, probably, if not more. So, I guess that explains the amount of doubles. Hercules Kabuterimon. What is that? Skipping Chip. Sorry, I can't read. Machine Crush. Is that? That's Machine Germans, uh... I think ability, right, that he actually says in the show. Spirit, yup, this is from the one where they all turn into the Digimon. Called it. Kalumon. Oh, look at it. This, uh, this Digimon always kind of reminded me of, like, the Digimon version of Mew for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I don't think he served a similar purpose in the show. It is, I don't really recall the third series that much. The first and second one was more my time period, the stuff that I watched the most. We have Tentomon. Palmon, Otamamon, Bioman. Damn, we've we got almost the full roster of uh, the Gen One Digidestined, and Hercules Kabuterimon again. Wow, even a double rare in our third pack already. These 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 are so bad. These are so bad. I curse all these all these packs just for having this terrible terrible design system on them. Yeah, let's make it impossible to open up any other way, and let's add this convoluted tear mechanism that doesn't work! Jesus Christ! There we go. Oh my god. Alright, well, I probably... No PSA 10s in this pack, that's for sure. <laughs> but honestly, I don't care. Data Point Charger 2, where's the first one? Sacrifice Laser. Oh, it's like a zombie Agumon getting completely <laughs> obliterated. Andromon. Ooh. This, this Digimon always, like, spooked me out when it appeared in uh, the first series. It just looked kind of creepy and soulless, and I don't know. I mean, he looks really, really cool, but oh. Omnimon. The OG uh, DNA Digivolution. Very cool. Oh no, I'm exposing cards now. Let's, uh, let's, there we go. Resource Control Tower. Trapping Chip. Companion Plugin. More floppy disks. Mandatory Shutdown. Look at that bulky laptop. Kabuterimon. Oh, non foil Kabuterimon. And Sneemon. Foil. Oh, so you can get foils and non-foils then. Interesting. How do you tell the rarity on these cards then? Oh, it says on the bottom here. So I believe that means it's common because it has a C. 
I mean, these are uncommon, interesting. Now we know what to kind of look out for, hopefully. Oh, these things are so bad. What did I do to deserve this torture? God, if I go to hell, Satan is just going to put an entire truckload of these packs in front of me and tell me I have to open them all manually. Ooh, Mega Seedramon. Another one of my personal favorites. Mega Kabuterimon. Ooh, can we complete... I think we're missing... No, did we complete the line? Yeah. Unless they have the baby and in-training versions, then we didn't... Zudomon, to go along with our Ikakumon. Koji. Sneemon Nonfoil. Devimon. Very cool, the villain of the first part of Season 1. Garudamon. Nefertimon, Nonfoil, Mooseman, a very, uh, very original name there, and Puppetmon Foil. Ooh, this one actually looks really, really nice. Yeah, it is very pretty, and it's an uncommon, so it is worth two whole cents instead of one cent, I imagine. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, I want to get at least one, one opening where it actually works as intended. So much for preserving like any of these packs just to keep. Kerpimon. Kerpimon? Isn't I thought this was always called Cherubimon Vaccine. Whereas the, the purple one, the evil one that was in the, the movie was Cherubimon Virus. Huh. I think even in the wiki it actually says that it's Cherubimon Vaccine. Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode Ancient Dragon. Oh wait, no, that's its subtype. My bad. It's a freaking sweet one too from the Vimon line. Waru Manziman again. Zoe. Sneemon. Devimon. Mooseman. Garudamon. Nefertimon. And Foyui Zudomon. So many doubles. Damn, this is a really, really small set. I can only imagine that uh, part two is going to be a lot of old news. I hope at least maybe there's some cool chase rare that I can find. I suppose I'll find it when I check the prices for this video before I do the second one. So maybe I'll get back to you guys then with uh, some, you know, stunning info if you didn't look it up yourselves after watching this. We have Lilymon again. Henry. Rosemon. Tommy. Beomon. Otamamon, Palmon, Tentomon, Kalumon, and Garudamon Foil. Well, on the bright side, at least we could speed through a lot of these packs now. Freaking actually opening the pack is gonna take longer than looking through the cards. Ooh. That's that's the YouTube content everyone wants to see. Freaking local man struggles with plastic. go. Rika. Ooh, you have... Oh, I forgot what her name is. Renamon. Renamon. There we go. We have Renamon in the background. Puppetmon again. Hercules Kabuterimon. JP. Attack Restriction. Is that supposed to be like a lance? Protective Plugin. Data Sucking. Give me the suck. <laughs> Digivolve Duplication. More floppy disks. Floramon, that's one we haven't seen yet, and Foil Mooseman again. How many packs do we have left? So this will be four packs left, including this one. And it's starting to feel like we have seen it all, but maybe, maybe we'll get some super special hidden foily, moily, swirly card, and it will be all better. Skipping Chip, Machine Crush, Data Point Charger 2, Spirit, Energy Plugin, Ikakuman, Vidramon, Bergeramon. Whoa, okay, here we go. We have something here. G. It has a G on the bottom for Gold Rare, I guess. Metal Kabuterimon, Android. Wait a minute. No, never mind. I thought it was the cover of Digimon, but it is not. It's very cool.
it's weird like it looks like it's special with the g but only the text is foily and nothing else and so i wonder if you could also get this one in the foily then too oh that makes so many chase cards then or that make it so hard to get foil versions of the like actual rare rarities dang and Dogimon foil i don't think we've seen a foil one of him so interesting maybe maybe the card is worth some money then we'll see I wonder how many of the rares on average, the rare, rare, the rarer rarities are included in a box. Probably like, at least from my experience in Magic, I would, I would wager four. There's probably about four higher rarity cards. But, uh, maybe I'm completely off the mark and wrong. That is also very possible. Sacrifice Laser, Andromon, Mega Seedramon, Omnimon, Dogimon, Companion Plugin, Trapping Chip, Resource Control Tower, oh, and right after that, another one, Kumamon. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. And it's another G Rare. Oh, this is the one that, uh, this is from the, the series where they turn to. Oh, are the rarer ones all the ones that the people turn into? Because see on the bottom right here, it says, I noticed, it says uh, Tommy plus Spirit. So hold on, I am no curious. Nope, wait. That is not the right Digimon. Yep, JP plus Spirit. So that might be the, the gimmick of these packs, I guess, in a way. The theme is that all the, the rares are the Spirit Digimon. So Kumamon and then Ikakumon Foil. Very nice looking. This is like a really dynamic pose for Ikakumon. It makes him look way skinnier than he usually looks not to insult his weight you're beautiful the way you are my friend with all you you're you're poofy you're just poofy with all that fur don't let the mean kids put you down akakuman and once again oh my god i struggle These are truly the worst packs ever conceived by mankind. How are you supposed to pull like a PSA 10 if you wanted to? A high grade card out of this when you have to like bend the entire thing and go through the space time continuum just to get it out of the wrapper. We have Rika, Puppetmon, Hercules, Kabuterimon, Spirit, Companion Plugin, Trapping Chip, Resource Control Tower. It's weird, they're almost all in like the same order, I feel like, too, even when we have doubles. I wonder if that's just how they printed and they never mixed them up or something. That's kind of kind of weird. Resource Control Tower, Mandatory Shutdown, Kabuterimon, Foil Omnimon. Let's go. Oh, and he is a rare. Whew. That's cool. That is super, super dope. I'm digging it. All right. That was a really good pull. We have our final pack, but I don't know if we can top a Foil Omnimon, but we can always hope. Eighteen eternities later, we have pulled the cards out of the pack. Skipping Chip, Machine Crush, Data Point Charger 2, Omnimon again, a lot of Omnimons. Snimon, I think that's our third Omnimon. Sneemon, Devimon, Moosemon, Garudamon, Nefertimon, and an Andromon. Uncommon foil. This one looks pretty nice too. You can take a look at that nice rainbow Enes. See what I mean though? Like look at look at him in the art. Look look at those soulless eyes. He's just kind of casually sending that beam of energy spiraling towards you with that slash. He doesn't care. He's just doing his job. He's trying to run that factory. Or whatever he did in the in the Digimon world. So there we go. That is part one of Digimon Trading Card Game Hybrid Warriors. Expect part two in about two weeks. So one video in between this and the next one. To make it a little bit easier and uh, so thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it and if you enjoy my content please do like comment and subscribe that all helps me out tremendously and it lets me continue doing the kind of stuff that i do if you have any suggestions for kind of cool stuff you would like to see on the channel also drop that in a comment and let me know as well as answering uh, my question what is your favorite digimon in the series my personal favorite is a uh, Ordeanmon, which I think debuted in Digimon Adventure Tri, if I'm not mistaken. 
And I haven't actually seen that yet, but I've seen the Digimon on the wiki and I read its page and stuff and I think it looks really, really, really cool. I could actually bring it up here on my handy dandy cell phone. Oh my god, you cannot oh wait. No, it's loading. Never mind. I thought I thought my phone decided to be like a vampire. Any day now. Here we go. Here we have Ordeanmon. Part of my terribly cracked screen, if you could see that, but yeah. This is Digimon. This is not. This is definitely not Pokemon. This is some horrifying angel thing, naked lady with DNA coming out of her limbs and huge bird wings with like soul orbs in them. Yeah, that's something to think about tonight when you go to sleep. <laughs> Digimon guys. Yeah, they 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 definitely had their own unique thing going there. That's for sure. So if you do enjoy the video, um, I upload a new video every Wednesday evening. So that is when you should tune in. And that is about it, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.